your news now. This is Fox 44 News at 530. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Renee Summerauer. The National Weather Service so far has confirmed eight tornadoes that hit the Dallas area as storms moved through Wednesday. While that system only delivered heavy rains and lightning in central Texas, we have seen an uptick in severe weather this year. Fox 44 meteorologist Michelle Trotter, she joins us now live at the Waco uh, Emergency Management Headquarters. Michelle, why was there so much severe weather this year? The National Weather Service says the past two years have been quiet, but what it came down to this year is that we have a stormy pattern in place. So far this year, the National Weather Service has issued 36 tornado warnings. Compared to this time last year, there was only nine tornado warnings issued. Over the last week, National Weather Service offices have issued more than 420 tornado warnings across 27 states. Meteorologist Ted Ryan says the upper level pattern that controls the weather is set up in a way that favors storms. The ground is starting to warm up as, as summer is approaching. There's, there's more uh, instability in the atmosphere from the uh, longer days. And at the same time, there's still some cold air left over uh, from winter. And when those air masses collide, you get the you get the, the stormy conditions. For our area, severe weather tends to die down by June, but the northern plains usually see a peak in severe weather around June and July. You need that, that class of air masses between uh, warm and cold. Uh, what happens is that the cold fronts just don't make it as far south anymore because summer's coming and, and the, the class of air masses tends to be farther north. Ryan says the amount or intensity of severe weather we are seeing this year has no correlation with global warming. We say there's not a good link because there's really no real established science that's, that's been able to link either of those together yet. Elizabeth Thomas with Waco Emergency Management says they have been busier than last year. That instability from the jet stream has really caused the severe weather just to ramp up, just makes the conditions just right, which is really unfortunate. Thomas says they're always on alert. Severe weather knows no jurisdictions or boundaries. If it comes in, starts in Bosque, it comes down here. If it starts out to our counties to the west of us, it could come potentially through here. And since May 19th, may, should I say May 17th, there has been 230 confirmed tornadoes across the United States, six of those being in central Texas. And thankfully, the next seven days, we aren't expecting any severe weather. Live in Waco, Michelle Trotter, Fox 44 News.